We coached with Knight, Eastern Cup Wildcats coach. First of all, congrats on the win. Tell us about that first half of play. You guys use a lot of players and a lot of balance on this team. Thank you. Um, thank you on the win, first of all. Uh, we came out here just with a, trying to get everybody involved offensively, defensively. We just didn't want to give up too many yards. Um, we got a pretty deep, talented team this year, um, and they stepped up to the plate. Uh, particularly in the first half, we didn't like the way they played. We felt like we could have played better. Um, but we pushed through, and we got the win. What about being number 56 back there running back and also on the line? Uh, Christopher Monroe Santos played a great game. So last game we got on him a little bit because um, we know his talent. He's one of the better players probably on the middle school level um, in Gifford County, and we know what his capability is. He didn't have the best game, and he uh, stepped up this game and led us defensively, not only defensively, offensively as well. Yeah, he made a big play here, number 56 and 58, both on that big safety for you. Very quick into the backfield and took their quarterback down to get those two points. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And that's big. So that gave us, we missed the extra point. That gave us a, a two touchdown lead and two extra point lead, which is very big in middle school. But you build him when you're kicking number 62. He's got a good foot. He does good for you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And it's actually his first game kicking. So we tried it in practice uh, the last couple of days. Um, he expressed to us he wanted to try field goals, and today was the first day he tried it. He got a very good leg. Coach Finite got some good balance at quarterback, too, at number five and number 10 back there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, number 10 is primarily our true quarterback. Number five is more of our um, athletic quarterback. But nevertheless, both of them played a great game. They both won. They both can pass. Um, and they got it done for us today. Is number five Trent? Yes, number five is Trent Horton. He's got the experience here last year, back again this year. So he yes, knows sir. what to do out there. Yes, sir. He definitely does. One of the better, Probably one of the better football players in the conference. Um, and he is a very good young man, very good player. Coach, I told Coach Aguilar a number of times, look forward to Trent. When he gets up to the Wildcat varsity team, he's going to do well for him. Yes, sir. Not only does Coach Ag need to look out everybody around, because that's one, if he stays on the right track, he can be a player when you be hearing about it. And all these kids in this team, you've got a lot of talent in this club, so you could be sending the high school quite a few good players in the future. Yes, sir. Hopefully this team, because we got a, a very talented team, hopefully they can stay together. Um, if so, in the next couple of years, they'll be a team to look out for. Coach, for night, what's it going to take to finish it off and win the conference championship? One more game to go. I think it is. We just got to stay focused, and uh, Coach Simpson, Coach McGee, and myself, and the other coaches, we just got to make sure they stay ready. Yep, Coach McGee, Coach Simpson, Coach McKnight, thank you for your time. Congrats on the win. Seems like you guys get in the conference. Your team steps up and plays better anyway, so you guys have a good chance to win it next week. Who do you play next week? We play Western uh, Gifford. I believe we do. We have a great chance to win, um, especially if we just come out and do what we do. We don't have to change too much, but if we come out and play sound football and hard, or we play hard and fast and physical, I, I don't think too many teams can beat us. Tip it to the cap to the old defense. You get a shutout. I think it's, what, finally 23 nothing, 31 nothing. Yes, sir. You get a shutout. That's big. No matter how, many, how much offense you get, you get a shutout on defense. That's huge. Yes, sir. If they don't score, they can't win. That's who who got that game. game ball, by the way? Uh, the Carlos Tabor. Tell us about Carlos real quick. Um, Carlos had a tragedy over the weekend. Um, he lost his godmother, I believe. Um, and he came out, said he still wanted to play. Um, scored a touchdown late, started on defense and both special teams. I'm just very proud of the young man. Played a great game, especially with the tragedy. He could have not played and we would have understood. Um, but he said he wanted to play for her, and he definitely gave her a game to watch it from and help. You got it, Coach, tonight. Thank you for your time. Congrats on the win. Good luck to the team the rest of the way. Okay. Thank you.